Clara Law Angels podcast here. I'm Clara. I'm Angelique. I'm Lonnie. Today we are here with Crampton Cozy Cottage. This is the Lottie build. Oh my goodness. I believe this is a little tiny, I don't know, you know, one person in the house. Or it could be two. I love that. You know. I didn't see this yet. I'm so excited. Me either. I didn't even get a sneak peek of this. I really like it. I think there's like cream tones and things like that, and I just love putting little cluttery homey touches in tiny houses. I know, and Avi creeping up the walls, those yes. little witch hat roofs. I love that. The way that it's matching like the road tracks and everything is such a pleasing thing to me. Like those little, what are those like little weed or flower piles over there near the park? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like. Winter's not always just like white and blue. There's also like this beautiful beige tone in it sometimes. That's and true. You're pulling it into this house and I love it. Oh, it's That's like a cute. thin layer of snow. Yeah, and like frost and just so gorgeous. Yeah, see the, the snow was thinning out. Yeah. And as you're excited, what is this cottage going to be like in springtime? And exactly. I'm obsessed with that right now. You could just picture someone walking through there like on beds of clover, just like barefoot. Like it's springtime, y'all. I know. In the backyard here somewhere you'll see that it actually has a grass patch and I thought that was so interesting because it's still snowing. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. So it was melting. Yes. It's like ready. Oh my goodness. And then there's going to be that blizzard that happens for like a mm -hmm. month. I mean, oh my mm -hmm. goodness. I know. That Everything happens. piles back up again. Right. You're like oh my gosh it's spring. You're fooled every year. Yes. <laughs> every exactly. year. Although I will say last year I thought I was fooled, and I wasn't. It was spring early. Yeah. Which was crazy. That is true. You know what? And then, then you start thinking, like, oh, no, here comes all the bugs. You know? I oh, know. That's why I love fall, because, like, Me too. bugs are going away. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but it's, you're going to sleep. Get out of here. Good night, bugs. Good night. Tuck yourself away for the winter, and then spring comes. You're like, I love it. Oh, wait. There's a spotter. Oh, no. <laughs> so true. It's spotter season. No. So scary. So this is all one room with a bedroom in it? Yes. Yeah, so there's a little that. bathroom in the back behind the kitchen. Oh, I love but that. It's so tiny. It's so tiny and I had so many things moving all around because I just wanted it to flow. And so things do move around. This might actually be like how that stays. I like that though. I like seeing your process. Because when you do a stop motion, no one really sees what you're doing. It's like your final product, but when you do a speed build, I love to see that process. Me it's like too. showing the problem and the math problem. Yeah. Like how you got Show, your work. Show, Show your work. Show your work. Uh -oh. You know, that's so cute. And it's pretty opulent. Look, it's a lot of thick, sturdy pieces for such a tiny little place. Yeah, like, you know, they don't have as much to spend for because it is so tiny. Oh my goodness, I love that. So you want like antiques and things like that that were made really sturdily. Exactly. Because you're probably thrifting a lot if you're in a tiny little house. I thought that little dresser was so cute right there. I was Such just going to say. You can put your linens in there, your clothing. Exactly. Candles sort of along there. Candles, knickknacks, anything you want right there. And oh storage my. is a must in a tiny home. So oh, true. Oh, great. And I'm thinking while I'm looking at that, that that kitchen is so homey. Like, you're not gonna feel like you're cramped up because of the way that it's just open. There's no island. You it's know? true. Like, when there's a tiny house like this, you get excited to, like, clean it. Like, you just picture yourself. I think it's the little girl in me. Yes. That wants to, like, I always was loving cleaning, like, my granny's house and stuff. So I get, like, excited, like, how you would clean them. People would be there sitting and talking to you while you're scrubbing the counter. Yeah, and they're so happy that you're just letting them put their feet up for a little bit while you're uh, yes. doing something that's just, they're so praiseful for. They really are, too. Like one of those um, vacuum cleaners that doesn't plug in. You know what I'm talking yes. about? Oh, yeah, the little rolling that up was, carpet yes, ones. That I was love. what everyone wanted to do. And that was genius of our grandmothers, you know, like, just here's this, there's that. <laughs> so you get true. the kids cleaning. There's a the fuzz shit. on the carpet. Yeah, Go that's ahead. so true. My granny had a little feather duster and it was like sort of all the colors of a parrot and so I would go and I would feather dust like the walls off and like the corners and any sort of little like cobweb near the door or something like oh, that. That's so cozy. I love that. Everyone fought over who could, all my cousins and things would fought over who would be able to use the parrot feather duster. Oh my oh. goodness. And you were like praised the high heavens for it, so it was worth it. You, you know, know, if you praised any kid, you know, or if you were a kid getting praised, oh my goodness. Wrong. And it's not like everything was super dusty, so you were sending like 
a child over there to get in the no. desk. He was just, you know, teaching you things. Like how to keep up on showers and whatnot. Raw and like have fun doing it. And you know? I, Doris is going to drink, y'all. When she gets moving and grooving, y'all. <laughs> so cute. But can I tell you something else, too, about small spaces? Who didn't always dream of having, like, their own little play yard in the back like a tree house or yes. something or if you went over to a friend's house and then they happen to have one of those like right. little homemade that's like, exactly what i'm talking mm -hmm. about like a little storage shed too that you could make into a like a real house for yeah. you but like it was just someone's junk shed the magic <laughs> of it was like the exterior exit all your own Rob. but then they were getting you to clean it they're like if you take everything out and clean it and tuck it back in nice and neat you can have the space that's left over and meanwhile you're getting like this big cleaning done from a bunch of little kids that are excited to have a house that is so true it happened to me a few times oh, no. oh my goodness but or, i loved it yes i had friends that I would be stuck there doing all the work, and they'd be collecting the money in the background. Wow. So got paid like a dollar oh, a bag to girl, rake you it. Had a bunch of hoodlums mm. that you were friends with for a bit there. But I mean, who trumped there? You know, you got that yeah. work ethic, Wrong. and they got a dollar. Exactly. Oh, that is so true. And then you learned a little lesson, like oh, I'm gonna collect the money before I do the you work know, myself. I wouldn't change it. No. It's true. No, because it is who you are, and you do have such a good, great work ethic. You really do. Oh. Look, this home right here that you've made, look, it is so pretty. It is so, it is so well done. I wanted Relaxing. it to be, yeah, like cozy but delicate in its own way. I don't know. It's, it's super yeah. inspired. Look, I just see that the cream that you wanted in the beginning yes. and the knickknacks. Exactly. And it's, I love Sheldon. That's the storage we were talking about. Uh, you know? It's delicate. It's almost like, you know, a teen girl's room when she's first moving out. Exactly. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It's quaint. It's got that nice sweetness about it still. Exactly. Oh, I see, love. there's that little grass patch. Oh, I saw that girl. Oh my goodness. I love the way all those trees look in that brick chimney. Like, this is the most beautiful thing. You did so good here, girl. Thank you. Thank y'all for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.